All right, I'm on hole number three of the Palm Tree Open. Let's check it out. Let's go check it out and see what see what the see what it plays like. I have no idea. It's a par three. It's the Oasis par three. This is a rough bump shot. I'm pretty sure it's with a Grizzly. I think you have to use a two power ball. My notes say Katana, so I'm you might have to use a two power ball in order to get to that rough bump. And I'm pretty damn sure there was some kind of an adjustment we were doing down here, like a plus 10% or a plus 5. It seemed like it was pretty small, but it, there was an adjustment we were having to do. Like it almost took an irregular bounce when it, when it comes out of the rough. I think the deal is here is I always try and straighten it out, and there's actually a drop-off. It drops to the left, and you got to kind of follow the drop to the left if I remember correctly. What the hell kind of setup was that? I guess they knew what they were going to do. All right, let's do a 10%. We'll start with a 10% and we'll see where it goes. With the way the wind's blowing, it's not too bad. Okay, my red line's way up there, so I can bring a, I'm gonna bring a power one ball. See what the deal is with it. Where's my red line? And I'm gonna bring a quasar, because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need side spin. Three nine, so that's four, so that's four four. There's four four, four five. Hitting it perfect. Whew, can't believe I got that shot off. And I needed to do more than ten percent against that type of wind. In the hole, Santa Claus is coming to town. It's important to practice these shots and not give up because these are shots that build your confidence with these. Recovering. Woo! <laughs> let's try that one more time. Let's see if we can get it. Let's see if we can get it without without clipping it so we can see where it's rolling out. We'll work on the wind adjustment. Practice. Let's go back to hole number three. Hole number three. One more time. Let's let's try that. So I did a 10% right there. I, I think I moved it for four, four, four. I actually think I moved it like four, six. So I moved it, I over pulled it even more than 10%. That's if I started on the outside ring, I can't remember. Sitting here talking. What the hell are you doing, dude? <laughs> All you're doing is sitting around talking. All right, we got the same kind of wind, so that's good. I'm gonna do a 20%, and I'm gonna try and make it so I can, even if I get that a little wrong, I can stay the hell out of that sand. I'm gonna do a 20%. And obviously a low wind ball here would help. Right on the outside edge of the cup, two seven. Ten percent is uh that make it three, so it'd be like three three. And my grizzly at mid club is one one, so there's three three. That's three rings. Hitting it perfect. 
Let's see if I end up in the sand again. Didn't come down the hill. Didn't follow the path. I think what it did there was it took an irregular, but I'm trying to get it to go to the right in order to smooth that out. That it's, take, it's taking an irregular bounce to the right. It was a good landing spot though. I have to go back and watch that and see how it responded, like where I landed in the center, where I set up. I'm not sure how the new holes, like in new courses, but in old courses, when you were playing with water, sand, and the green like that, and you were hitting t over the sand, that wind hugely affected that ball so like what you would do if you were playing it's a headwind versus what you were doing if you were playing it's a tailwind or even a sidewind those three positions are going to be different and this is an old hole so there's a good chance that it's going to be a big difference between the three all right that was hole number three thanks for watching